2014 saw the completion of a major regeneration project at Burntwood School in South West London. Bureau Happold, as a structural engineer, worked alongside AHMM and Lendlease to replace a series of dilapidated concrete structures with the same palette of materials but an entirely new approach. The winner of the 2015 RIBA Sterling Prize is lauded as a model of modern school construction. This analysis looks at the communications building within the development. Vertical loads travel from each slab into beams, columns, then down to the foundations. The facade panels, however, are structurally self-supporting with no load on the building frame. Lateral loads are resisted by two concrete cores surrounding the stairwells. The impact of wind loading on the structure can be assessed from the analysis of the worst case from four orthogonal directions. For each side, the influence of direction, nearby buildings, friction and other factors are considered to find the highest design force on each side. In this case, 520 kilonewtons acts on the western face. This must be laterally resisted by the core. For the overall load of the structure, we must consider each room may have different permanent and variable design actions. To simplify, assume all floors are identical to ground. Using the ultimate limit state of the permanent actions, the weight of the building structure is estimated at 41 meganewtons. Atop each beam is a two-way spanning slab. Assuming a 200mm depth and triangularly distributed load, 487 kilonewton meters are applied, rising to 529 including the self-weight of the beam. The dimensions, self-weight and reinforcement choices underwent several iterations comparing tension and compression forces, moment capacity, shear stirrups and spacing. The result is a flanged beam 500 by 530 millimetres tall with 6H25 compression and 4H20 tension reinforcement. Using a load takedown approach, an axial force of 1700 kilonewtons acts on ground floor column E16. With appropriate combination of actions, using moment distribution, it is subjected to 140 kilonewton metres at the top with a point of contraflexion near the bottom due to the fixed fixed assumption. Eccentric loading further induces moments and terms M2 and M1 are defined for this plane. Scaling from a photograph, slenderness ratio is lower than the limit, permitting second order effects to be neglected. Using design interaction charts, reinforcement is specified and checked against requirements. Final dimensions are 300 by 400 mil high with 6 H12 bars and H6240 transverse reinforcement. By sector, the production of building materials accounts for over 22% of global CO2 emissions, with cement playing a key role. The use of the term flexibility in building design should be carefully analysed. This could mean designing for a higher load capacity likely to never be fully utilised. A 5% reduction of concrete column and floor thicknesses could have an enormous impact on reducing embodied CO2 and is perfectly reasonable. It is vital that we design for only what is required, and no more.